Okay, so what we're moving through is uh, these are the solving engineering economic type problems. So this is what you're primarily going to see during the exam. These are the types. And there's four types. So the first one is uniform series present worth. And once again, reminding you that this is the factor table. This is how you write. This is the factor table shorthand. This is how you write the equation. You write the column heading, the interest table that you're interested in, and the number of periods that you're analyzing. So this is the factor table. All the factor table numbers are derived by the equations that are found in your book and in our refresher course notes. And so these are the actual equations that you use to solve the problem. Or you can use the factor table shorthand through it. And then the last is the cash flow diagram. Right? The cash flow diagram visualizes your success and being able to take a look at what we have. It's the Cartesian coordinate system. Everything above the zero line is in plus. Everything below is in out. You have outs and inflows. So this is in and out, all following what we know about the Cartesian coordinate system for our quadrant one and our quadrant two down below in our XY paradigm that we often use. Uh, in understanding the principles behind our XY coordinate system. So that gives us the information that we need here. And as we move to it, we're also going to be looking at the second. So we'll be looking at the uniform series future worth. So you see present worth. And then the present worth is primarily that. We're basically evaluating on day zero, the present. Okay, our timeline is equal to day zero. We want to know what's going on on day zero so we can plan and identify the information for our approach to finding the solution. The second one is the uniform series future worth. So now here we're looking into the future. All right, so we're going to take a, a concept. Let's say, for example, if we're given the annual amount, we, we need to make that a future amount. So we're going to go to our FA column headings in the table and develop from that a factor, identify the factor, and apply it. So once again, the factor table is identified. We also have the actual equations, and these are all found in your book. And this is the cash flow diagram that's so much needed when you're looking at visualizing the problem. The next type of problem that you're going to see is a net present worth. And so that's our third in the series of organization. And net present worth is just using our understanding of the benefit and costs for a project and finding once again what is the net present worth what is happening on time is equal to zero what is happening on day zero and our fourth item here is the benefit cost ratio our benefit being the numerator our cost being the denominator and that ratio remember that we identify that if it costs if we sell it for a dollar and it costs us a dollar to make well, obviously, that gives us a return of 1. Our goal is always to be greater than 1. We want to be having a profit. Right? We need to make a profit, and that profit is all dependent upon our ability to manage the whole process, including break-even, variable cost, fixed cost, and the like, as we discussed in our earlier sessions. <laughs>